Previously on Dang and Rapa. 5C, we have, all right, so we have more than, holy <laughs> Dude. I wanna find out like, what the hell is going on in this classroom? There was like a giant massacre. A giant massacre. Oh. Eye for an eye. What else is in here? So we took a look at the bodies. Well, not the bodies, but the, the, the chalk outlines. Uh, did we ever talk to Biakria? Um, Biakria, what about what Monokumo just told us? It's like he's not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard? Or is he just flat out ignoring me? Probably both. You know? Probably both. Oh, we got blood. Okay, cool. Like, how old is this blood then? There's blood all over the place. I don't want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry, and their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? Of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way, I can keep up with someone like that. Should we take a look at the chalk outline again? Maybe he'll say something? Yeah, same thing, okay. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? Hey. Alright, and I'll take one more. Let's look at the monitor here. This is one of the monitors, blah, 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 blah. Nope. Alright. I guess we can leave, right? <laughs> I guess we can leave. There's nothing in the ceiling. There never is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Leave the area. Yes. We saw the rest of the floor to, <laughs> to look at. Bio. Is this raw there? Weird. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. We, we came all this way just to be denied here. The sign of the hall says Biolab. A Biolab. That we're forbidden from seeing into. It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Raw. Uh, maybe that's a raw bar. It's a Biolab by day and a raw bar by night. You know, in case the students want to go get some oysters or something. I mean, that would be a pretty... Oh, hello. Um... Yeah, so same things there. Um... Uh, we got B, A, B, and C done. Let's go down here. What? Is that Dojo? Holy shit! Reminds me of like the truth from Full Metal Alchemist. Holy shit, it's outside. It's a whole botanical garden. That's a huge ass finish fly trap. I would not be surprised. If somebody dies in it. Yo! At first I thought I was saw blue skies, but it turns out they're just painted like the walls and the ceiling. They're just painted walls in the know? ceiling. Oh, but the plants are real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. The That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of a plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore... The <laughs> They'll pull up their, they'll pull, 
their plan for global human extinction into action. Well? I'm serious. Is that... That's like the plot of the happening, isn't it? Oops. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. I mean, the happening's been out for a long, long time. And it's not a good movie. Like, at all. Just to be sure, you should take a look in that tool shed. This place seems totally disorganized from a lot more. The fertilizer, flower pots, the farm tools. Wow, how is that disorganized? And leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? I mean, maybe, but like, wow, this is all stuff you would find in like a gardening shed for the most part. There's a lawn over here. Even with this here, who actually is going to take care of the lawn? Look at the pots. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Do, do, do. What's that? that hanging bag is probably fertilizer. Crazy diamond. Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah, that is familiar. Where the hell is that from? Where the hell is that from? There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Was crazy? Is that like the handle also from the the ha the hammers that were used? Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There are so many different kinds to choose from. Yeah, if you just want to choose some fertilizer. All right, that's enough of this. Leave the tool shed. What's this thing behind him? There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? Yeah. It controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So, that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? Yep, you got it. It's super fuser friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. <gasps> but you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Or, do you have some kind of water finish? <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone! <laughs> That's funny. A water fetish. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Who's been taking care of these things? This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that? It seems safe. Hey, little chick chicks. It's a chicken. Doesn't have like a second form, right? I do it for every single one. It's really alive, right? Like, there's no mistake. It's a chicken. It, it really is, right? Like, like, I can say that for sure. It's a chicken. It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? It's a chicken. It's not gonna like lay a bomb, is it? <laughs> it's a chicken. Yeah, step away from the chicken coop. Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? 
Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them there. Here. Exactly? Hmm. Five. You know, the number that comes after four and before six, at least, in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. <laughs> it's a number of power. A refreshing number on par with hand squeezed all natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. Uh, I mean, there's another monitor there. I didn't see the camera, though. Now, let's look up to the heavens. This giant finger thing. What? What, what is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get that big. Is this thing real? Like a satellite dish. Huh? That's a Monokumo flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it, and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, and dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing. If I do say so myself. A student, a student at Hope Speak uh, added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Actually. Oh, he, it's the first time he's mentioned the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, the flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Wow. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Not that I know anything about that myself. <laughs> Spotting more and more nonsense, Monokumo eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep it keep my distance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the monitor. Click on that just for just for consistency's sake. All right, let's talk to him one more time. Hey, don't you believe me, Makoto? Hmm. It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave Earth to us any longer, the end is nigh. they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Well. I'm serious. <laughs> yes. Yes, let's leave the area. Oh, yeah, that was this place, too. What's over on a corner, though? Nothing. I do like this floor. It's just, uh, you know, that whole room with uh, blood in it. It's just gonna, really going to bring the property value down. Oh, shit. This is beautiful. The music's gone. What Kyoko told me yesterday? What the heck did I did it mean? Mukuro Ikusaba, the sixteenth student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me whatever it w was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand any, uh, anything any better than before. Classic. A suit of armor is, is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. 
This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? I was gonna say, if it's in full bloom, maybe that tells us the time of year, but there's kind of like an artificial atmosphere in here, so that not really gonna help. This is one of the monitors, yep, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Even though this room is totally enclosed, hey. yep. Indeed. Same stuff. Same stuff. That target seems pretty far away, gotta say. Pretty proud of my eyesight. I mean, you should be even prouder if you could hit it with something. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? What the hell's up here? Oh, another monitor? Not monitor, but camera. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old school public bathhouses. And there's six of them. We had five in the other room. You have six in this one. There were eight bodies, I believe, in the other thing. So depending on when you, like, came here. Six, seven, five, six, eight. I don't know. Maybe there's another room with seven as a number. There's four targets. Oh, my God. What does it mean? Uh, no, we want to talk to her one more time, I think. Hey, Kyoko? She won't even make eye contact. I guess she really doesn't feel like talking. Okay. Anything else? I don't think so. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. Once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. I want to walk around more. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long, hmm. it would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a I don't know why I said it like that. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the ba basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be de depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone, uh, what, find out what everyone discovered. All right, let's start with Hina. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. They used to, they used to kind of be Sakura's job, but mm. anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means there's, no, which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. <laughs> What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took you took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you so ask? Then. Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. A bathroom? Something on all floors, but not on the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? There are any stairs leading- oh, I guess that too. I didn't see a bathroom. That might have been in the very beginning. Yeah, there weren't any stairs. So this is the last floor. There aren't any stairs leading up up from the fifth floor. Is that what you're talking about, right? Does this mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... 
But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we gotta do it, right? Do I didn't say right. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out. No matter what it takes. Talk to her now. My concern is with the bio lab. That's the only uh, the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Mm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this was like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or. But... We're not in a horror game, though. <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understand. Stood. No matter how much you think about Naturally. it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. <laughs> hmm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no strange in a massive uh, is a massive understatement. No, strange is a massive understatement. Blah, 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 blah. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of, of countless corpses. I don't know, I counted eight. I won't say countless. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What? What? What, well, what the hell are you talking about? Hmm. The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody smells concentrated. Huh? Oh my god, it's gross. God! I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But, but I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So, in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in the room. <laughs> A bunch of people were killed? In there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that's what he was meant by. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing then, my theory is. The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. I mean, possibly, but like... I wouldn't say it's like the largest... It's concentrated into one room. Like, there's been like more awful things in human history, unless like we're talking about an alternate universe here. That would cause like the the place to close down. My guess is now possibly the ultimate despair caused this mass murder. They closed the school down, and she's been hiding in the school ever since. Perhaps. Maybe she's the mastermind. All right. So uh, the awful scene in that room—that was the tragedy that happened a year ago. In other words. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Speak Academy. If that's true, all clear now. that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess it all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super is awfully awful. They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still. How has not one of us ever heard about something like this that happened? Happening. Blah, blah, blah. Reading and speaking is a struggle today. Uh, <laughs> does that mean they really did cover it up? Let's hit Hero in the back here. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're going to say. But a tool shed. <laughs> uh, let's, can we, can we hit all of them? Monokuma said that it was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious? It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's a different, it's different from the ones that live in the pipe, though. Anyway, what? It lives in the pipe? Anyway, that thing better, might, must benefit from the sprinkler system. 
as much as anything else in here. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, remember that? You don't want to get drenched and ca catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Mm. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about you, hero. You can tell me what 10 plus 10 is. Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but it doesn't mean make me stupid. But if it make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. Huh? So, um, what was the question again? Uh. Don't worry, you just answered it. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So? What are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever? Ah, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> Jesus, man. I know you're like torturing her, but come on. Hm. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you honor me, master. <laughs> and don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> Seriously? You're just gonna take it? What the heck? Sh shut up. Don't interrupt when master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this. A knife? Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. <laughs> uh, Rambo, guys, if you don't sure i believe is a uh it's a 90s movie uh, 90s maybe late 80s uh movie franchise maybe around 85 86 uh starring sylvester alone and they made a whole bunch of them uh da -da -da. it's a survival knife of some type but what was it doing in a classroom oh, wow. uh, how would i know very suspicious what are you gonna do with that use that knife for what are you planning to use dude Oh my god, why can't I talk today? <laughs> what are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I just picked it up. I, I don't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more important... Now that we have the knife, what are we going to do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. You don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Hmm. So what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. That's that. Oh, hold on. Don't I get a say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko? Uh, do I still have bed breath? Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. Oh my god, it's so weird. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? Huh? Uh, did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. I'm surprised he didn't call her a good girl. If he had done, her head would have exploded. <laughs> I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that uh, would ever experience such a dream. <gasps> I feel strange. 
This is so weird reading out loud, honestly. Ah, uh, it's so strange. Really strange. Oh no. Uh, <sighs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it, it makes me feel sad. That was really freaking weird. Really freaking weird. All right, and then I think we have uh, Yakuya. A strange room on the fifth floor. We can only assume that a large number of people died in that room. So the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened in one year ago. Oh, yeah, we've already done this. In okay. other words. Precisely. The tragedy in the name of the genocide student at Post Peak Academy. Is that That's true? true? Yeah, okay. Okay. So that was everybody. How come I didn't get propped? Are we missing someone? I talked to everybody, right? Yeah. Hmm. Correct. <laughs> you know? Oh, right, right, right. A stupidly large chicken coop. Okay. You notice it too, huh? That pickaxe? What? I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot all about that. Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words Crazy Diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy Diamond. Hmm. Yeah, it does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase huh? before. Huh? Where? Oh, that's it. I remember. Oh... Holy shit! Didn't even notice that before. It was on Mon Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would that be on a pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then, maybe Mondo brought it with him when we first came here, and Monokumo confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me. In the tool shed, the pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't a pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? No. What I noticed was a lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. Huh? How are you going to call for help with a lawnmower? What I don't know. Maybe I can use it to make prop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well. And we could use those to call for help. Mm. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? you know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's like breaking the fourth wall. I don't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. You know? All right, and then we got chicken coop. There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Mm. That's right, five, five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue, dis barbecue. <laughs> decisions, decisions, barbecue decisions. Ah. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? <sighs> I don't know if I'd eat raw chicken. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. Hmm. Well, I think that's all, all the new information we have for now. Yo. So, now what do we do? <laughs> well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way! Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um... So, what is it you want to figure out? <laughs> Kyoko's identity. Oh! We all do! We all do! 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. Stop by premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here for more Daniel Rapa content. Until next time, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.